Why work harder when you can work smarter and live better? Life hacks. So we're back with Jean-Michel Blais, the amazing pianist and composer, um, talking about his life and what inspires his music. Hi, Jean-Michel. How are you? I'm fine still. How are, how are you? <laughs> I'm very good. I'm intrigued by all the things that you've been through in your life, including the Tourette mm. syndrome, and then, you know, having to deal with extra stresses like e e eviction from your, is it the studio or like the whole area that you had a problem with? It's, Was it your it's my apartment and the studio. Yeah, That's crazy. Both. Uh, it's happening to a lot of people now, I guess around the world, but like uh, here in Montreal mm -hmm. and I'm in a very good position to handle it, which is not the case of like a lot of people that actually can end up like they have no second place to go or like this, you know, so I, I I'm really not complaining about right. it. And uh, it also, but what's it causing it? Is it, is it just like a financial oh. thing or are they just kicking? Are they turning everything into commercialized buildings or what? Yeah. It's like. The gentrification thing mm -hmm. that I would say like, you know, I mean, it's working a bit everywhere, but the, the way I feel it, and it's so sad for those people to be honest, because they, uh, the gentrifiers, they just buy a, like a, a photo stuck in time of something that was evolving like a film. It's just like you stop a film in the middle and you buy it and you, you that becomes your life when, when the film was supposed to continue and it's continuing somewhere else because you're, all those people move away. So there's just, it's called, we, we have this fr French one, renovation, like renovation. Renovation. <laughs> it's, it's yeah. because it's, it's, it's the only way you can kick out someone here. It's like rights for like the people, like the, I don't know the word, like people like me, like people who pay a rent, like mm -hmm. the, our rights are quite Renters, protected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Renters, except if, uh, if it's my landlord's uh, son moving in or like mother like uh, they can kick me out for them except if i'm very old or if, if it's winter like today it's minus 40 outside um but, and, but the other thing is like if they do major renovation mm -hmm. uh, and 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 they play with that like what mm -hmm. what is mm -hmm. major Loophole. renovation yeah yeah so exactly exactly and it's happening a lot now in this this neighborhood called the myland that was like probably one of the most prolific i mean you Arcade Fire is known to come from there. Like many, many bands and artists used to live there. And now it's just everyone's moved away. Or like if you have the money to stay there enough, but well, that you, you, you're a huge artist, but like all those emerging artists now, you know, I, I even have a hard time finding myself a studio. And, and I think, I don't know, like a lot of people know, like I'm quite, I don't want to say I'm famous in Quebec, but I'm saying like if I have a hard time finding a studio. For yeah, myself. imagine. What do, What about those like twenty year old kids that just like yeah. maybe are creating mm -hmm. the sound of tomorrow? Like, where are they supposed to to do? Yeah, to exist, I've, you know? we've been saying stuff on on life hacks about this and that the fact that there are they're like all of this using COVID rules to like um, take businesses like cafes and restaurants and and turn them into commercialized building apartments. Yeah. But it's just so dodgy because you just wonder, like, what, who are they building these tiny little apartments for and what's going to, you know, like, it's it's pretty scary. But anyway, mm -hmm. we'll go back to being positive and yeah. all your wonderful. Um, so what has inspired? So first of all, what inspires you to you were saying about traveling? Um, what is it that inspires you to compose? And is there anything in particular? Well, we, we can put the eviction thing aside, but I think it's mm -hmm. part of it. It's like, OK, that's no, right, because it was one of the album it, covers you were saying. So. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like. I needed, it's like this thing I said earlier about like being bored of a routine so that you want to escape from it and then you're completely lost and you recreate yourself another routine. And like, and it feels like it, it was the same with this eviction. If we just take it for an example, mm -hmm. at one point I was completely, it's like it was like a breakup for with this world. And then I'm like, life needs to keep on and, and move on. And it's maybe a good thing. Maybe I would have never moved out of that place and now i'm in a completely different place and i'm experiencing so many amazing things i would have never it really opened my mind you know and mm -hmm. i remember this moment it was like okay uh my landlord at least won't win that war and because i'll turn that eviction into and it became like a political thing and i mm -hmm. and i and I had those like four nights in a row inviting friends over and I said, we'll make a video of it. And it became like, it went on some like social thing here about eviction and I made an album out of it and music came out of it. I'm like, okay, I'm going to take this more like negative energies, like you said, mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. transform it into like, I'll, I'll, I'll be resilient about it and do something and something bigger. And, and, and so I think what inspires me, it's a lot of that. Like, um, I'm more like, uh, like a sensitive person through which, uh technically it's more like everything i've heard is sort of mixed 
up somewhere in my unconscious it's just channels through me i really feel like i'm more of a i'm more like a tunnel like a i canalize stuff and mm-hmm. i think it's the same with uh emotion and like i really during the process i really rationalize it but um i can always tell i after a while like i i went to a piano i'm i'm playing and i find like a thread like a golden thread or something I'm like oh there's something there and 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 slowly by shaping it there's a way um, I see appearing the thing it's talking about. And it's always linked to, I would say, like a human, uh, like an anthropocentric, I guess, uh, situation. So it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's someone's breakup. It's someone falling in love. It's uh, someone having cancer, someone who passed away, someone who's just born, like, and, and, and someone struggling about something or, or like um, experience like a success about something. And, mm-hmm. and I can really, and, and, and curiously, it's even unconscious when I look back and cause I, I feel like I'm a, more of a, like a sculptor discovering mm-hmm. what the, I don't know, the, the wooden branch Mm-hmm. would tell me to do like I'm, I'm, I'm i feel really feel i'm uh the do you effort- visualize is there a lot of visualization that comes in as the music is flowing do you see things is it more a visual or is it the feelings that you're feeling more yeah it's more like it's more like i you know i'm at first i write my music at the very end i write it down uh and that's because I wanted to keep it uh, alive. Um, every night is a way for me to forget what's bad, and every morning is a way for me to remember what was good about it. And and sometimes during a shift, I say a night, but it can be like a, a little t- ten minute break. But during those breaks, things reach it, and I can come back. And then by mistake, I I I restart playing something in the wrong key, or like a t- tempo shifted, and like something, and and I keep on shaping it up until a point I feel like I found. Uh, the, the, like it's balanced now for some mm-hmm. reason I have this sense of it's enough and I think a lot of artists mm-hmm. are never satisfied too perfectionist mm-hmm. and maybe other not enough and it's just like it's clunky and it's like maybe it should I, I, I feel like at one point I feel like okay that's what I want and, and then I start looking at it and like and I, I see connections between I can take any piece and like analyze why like the shape is linked to the story it's telling and that's how i find i come up with a title also. that one song past peed because i'm not quite sure what it means but i love 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 this is a new um song on on jean michel's album um past peed right which is something yeah. to do is it walk don't walk pa- it's it's no. the it's the name pa- like i don't really know what it means like it's like pat like passing in foot like it's just like passing through it i guess like it's so it's it's just a name of uh of a dance mm-hmm. like of an old uh renaissance baroque uh dance Yay. and and <laughs> yeah and and yeah so it was just you know back to when i was talking about mm-hmm. the wound and being mm-hmm. like my parents being dancers and like there's an amazing video clip coming for that i'm so proud of that team what they made up uh with that and um it's uh, it's crazy people dancing uh this old dance <laughs> like it's been resurrected for some reason and um yeah and so I, I i think there's this um yeah there's always a reason why uh, music is there so what inspires me to it's so hard to tell maybe i've answered the question already i don't know i don't know i think well i mean i think people will totally understand that what you're saying is this with it it is and that's why i think it's so appealing i think your music is so appealing because i am very visual um, I'm a writer, so um, I'm a hypnotherapist. You know, I use imagery to help people with their problems, and I have I see everything. So when so when I hear music, whether I like it or not, I feel I feel a certain way, and I start seeing things. And so if if a, if music to me is negative, or if I have to do something that's um, multitasking of some sort, I'm like just turn that off because there's too many words and I can't I can't focus. So I think you are communicating perfectly with your music. Um, and I understand what you're saying about it. it needs, you know, it needs to be universal. Therefore, it's difficult to attach a name to it. But I think people can see past that or feel past that, which is so very important. So mm-hmm. speaking of um, just some of your music in, from the past, for example, you had uh, Ad Claritit, um, this is Latin, so Ad Claritatum Domine, yeah. which which once again has that ambiance of, of neighborhood sounds, um, is that exactly what you were talking about? That is sort of when you're, did you, why did you decide to include sort of sounds in the background of some of your songs, like footsteps and 
it's a good point. Yeah, I've, just, I've never yeah. <laughs> really this. I decided to accept them because uh, I was living in this apartment. You know, Montreal apartments are quite noisy <laughs> and you really hear everything. And it was the summer. And that was the first time I really was record. I mean, this album, I think this album cost me like 500 bucks and it was just for the mastering. I, I'm, I did it with a friend over like three days. We just taped like a shitty mic on my piano and and i was just starting playing it was like damn like there's someone walking outside and li listening back to it that's so like wonderful it's, ca it's capturing something beautiful <laughs> so why not emphasize it and celebrate it i think at one point we may maybe we even put a mic outside to to, to have a control that's over right. it and yeah there's a piece on that album uh i think it's casa which means house in spanish and mm -hmm. um it's uh it started raining so my mm -hmm. friend devin had to like stand up and like go close the window you hear like the window closing <laughs> and then what it, yeah it, it really happens in this very interesting moment in the piece Wonderful. where it opens another section yeah so you know that's there's something uh about uh, i don't know how to explain that and it sounds very esoterical but sometimes with the right amount of control and setup but also an amount of leaving space for chaos to experiment as if among perfection there might be some part of perfection if you wanted to encompass everything and yeah. just by letting things go things happen that and it's i guess it's up to the taste maker or artist to to let them happen but not mm -hmm. too much and to to notice what is interesting and to and maybe to keep it i've, I've noticed that a lot in my uh, creative process i know it's not the creative process for everyone and it's I guess it's totally fine but um so those sounds became a, a bit of a signature to me and it also it what i know now is like it even captured for people here at least uh some an, of an era of like what the myelin used to be in summer like this very inspiring place because mm -hmm. that's not the same anymore it's like it's even just like it was like pre-nostalgic i don't know like mm -hmm. because people mm -hmm. knew what was happening and um yeah so uh and, well, and so and that's always, a great that Sorry, that's another great life hack is that, you know, for people who think, well, I have to have the perfect setup, you know, I have to have the best mic, I have to have a soundproof room, I have to have a studio, I have to, no, you don't, you actually just have to be creative, and let it flow. And what Jim Michel Blais is saying, is that sometimes these things actually work out perfectly, because for the visual people, it literally creates something in our mind. We can see the people walking, we can see the rain falling, we can picture or imagine who we want is opening or closing that window when the rain is falling. Just be creative is definitely one, you know, be creative and don't limit yourself to perfection when you're starting out even, or or it may even just become a signature piece, which it has become for Jean-Michel Blais. We'll be right back. That is part two with Jean-Michel Blais talking about his new album, Oban. Stay tuned for part three on lifehacks.com. That's with a K and an X. Thanks for listening. Lifehacks.com. That's with a K and an X on Radio X.